Hi, my name is Fani Renders, and in this section of the course, we will explore the basics of ASP.NET Web API. So first on the agenda, we are going to learn a bit more about the Uniform Interface. Then, we will dissect the API controller to know more about how we can use and extend it. This is followed by demos showing convention-based implementation and verb to attributes. Let's look at the Uniform Interface. REST organizes a web application into resources, like a Flickr image or a Facebook friend, and then uses the HTTP verbs of get, post, put, and delete to modify those resources. The get method retrieves one or more resources identified by the request URI, and here we have the ability to cache the information coming back. Post creates a resource from the submission of the request and the response is typically not cacheable. This method is also considered unsafe if no security is applied to the endpoint, as it would allow anyone to create a random resource on our server. By using the put method in our request, we can update an existing resource on the server identified by the request URI. Finally, the delete method removes a specific resource specified by the request URI. To better comply with the REST standard, it is important to always return an appropriate HTTP status for every request. The term indempotence is talked about a lot in the context of RESTful web services and means that applying an operation once or applying it multiple times has the same effect. For example, if you delete a resource with HTTP delete and it succeeds with the 200 OK and then you try to delete that same resource again or n number of times, you should get back an error message 410 gone because the resource was deleted. HTTP methods that share this common property are get, put and delete. Here we can see a typical example of an API for users illustrating the concept of the uniform interface. The first request, get users, returns a list of users. By adding an additional element, id, to the request, we can return only one entity, like get users slash file. Post users creates a user on the server, and likewise put users slash five and delete users slash five will update and remove the user number five accordingly. Now that we are more familiar with the uniform interface, let's apply our knowledge by examining the API controller in which we will look at next. 